Oh, well, you know that's in there. I know. <laughs> All I saw was purple. <laughs> I can't believe I lost my pen. The pen every time I use my notepad, I lose that pen. Whatever pen I use, I know I have to get a different pen. I'm sorry, Hank. Here we go. Ah, again. That'll do it. That's what happened last time. Mm -hmm. Legendary things, but it's still not decent. I'm giving you I to take the play. Sure, sure. Um, likewise, I will keep. Building time. Okay. Sure, sure. 17. Gotcha. Dover. Okay. I actually didn't know what you were on until when you were shuffling. I could see through one of your sleeves, so you may, be, you may want to be a little careful. It was a, one of the Delver. I could see the transform. I couldn't see it all that well, but I could see it enough to know. Yeah, that's... We should do something about that. So, yeah, I guess that's why they make those uh, magic back cards. That's right. It's all good. It's all good. It won't be all good if I go to an Ariel event and get kicked out. You could do the thing where you like. Pass on? Oh, yeah. No, no, I'm not passing yet. I'm just. Oh, I'm, I'm saying I'm passing the turn. Gotcha. Hmm. I did sign for a um, uh, 19? Just in case, uh, mainly, yeah. Yeah. Um, and it seemed like they were, if I could, if I could, they were all, it seemed like they were better than Forest? Walt. Walt. Dead misprint, man. Dead misprint. Are they only Germans? Yeah, it's only the German revised. All of them? Or like... I no, I, I don't think it was all of them. Yeah. I think that once they realized the mistake, they stopped the print and switched it, but... It, uh, one of the things I was thinking of doing just to mess with people, to be honest, was like, getting some waltz and um, uh, getting some that were actually walled and some that are planes. E B E N E, however you say that in German. Pastor. And then uh, just messing with people by having both. Oh, it flips. Yeah, this will be fun. Be real fun. Three. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tuck that one. Okay. Pass turn. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There we go. Okay. Thirteen this time. First strike to tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Reach to tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Stops Dover, but. Yeah. It's going to die, though. It's a floor It's always going to die. But it's like, it's going to. I'm not sure if I can afford to wait. And then you're just going to wrap the board again. Does so much to your deck. Yeah, and that's when you like forgot the game. And that's when like, but so I have to decide. So it's like, it was four last 
there's a lot of times where, like, because of the five things, a lot of problems you're going to ramp I'm at a virtual seven. Or the what's called the two one. Swaying bolt. So I'm at a virtual seven. You don't work with the course originally. It's like, put you down to 14. You can't play a banish one anymore. You can't play the powering one. Pass turn. Just down to 13. So you have to, like, kind of make some I like an hour one. I guess I can't afford to stall if you have Pyromancer, I just, I'll get flooded. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's serious. Yes. Oh, that's serious. Yes. Two damage to you. Prowess. Okay. Lightning bolt you. Prowess. Eight. Six. Yes. Okay. I think there is but one card that can save me from this spot. Pass turn. Pass turn. Yep, and I hope you don't have it. After I attacked, that if I just played Lightning Bolt instead of Force Bolt, it would have been like Alright, I got you. <sighs> That's why we think before we do. You still got it though. If you ever want to draft, I recommend Cons. It's, oh, it's, it's the best format I've ever drafted. Sweet. Uh, I did shards back in the day. It probably feels a lot like it, if I had to guess. <laughs> okay. Okay. turn. Shock myself. Check. Delver, Swiss Spear. What are we going to do? It's going to be a Delver. All right. And uh, I could see yeah, Tuck Sand Pro. Two Ethereal Armors, a Hyena Umbra, and two lands. Okay. Fast turn. I'll play your field. Fetch. Heavy at 19. Try Arbor. You have so few creatures. Dry Arbor makes hands a lot more capable. Very true. Interesting. Especially the Umbra is a practically half That's right. When people side out the removal in later games. Right. So, shock. And yes, we are putting an number on. Not really, but the two best cards are actually pretty devastating. Goblin Grenade and Thorak. Yeah, there's no value wise, there's nothing in that set. No, but that whole set you can buy for like 35 bucks on the yeah. event. Yeah, no, it's it's Chronicles and. Uh, oh, well, yeah. now the dark is gone. It's all good. And some of the other. And of course, Alliance is worth the entire Force of Will. But you can buy the entire Alliance set for like 90 bucks and 75 bucks at this value. It's 
Of course, it will. So. Put a rancor on it? Sure. In dark, of course, Last maze. Turn. Everything else in that sense is worthless. So, what's maze worth? Like, what's it up to? Small victories. So, yeah, so you can buy like this set for an additional 20 bucks. That's all I know. Like, the set's absolutely worthless with a coin card. They have, they have the skill box of uh, whatever. Like, I bought a uh, yes. with an extra foreign box uh, set of dark, and he stole it to me because he just wanted to get rid of it. I told him I'd give it to him, you know, whatever the base is worth, plus 15 bucks. The set's absolutely junk. Like, I mean, it used to have a ball of lightning, which used to be worth something until they refunded the shit out of it. So, uh, well, it wasn't a box, it was just a complete set of foreign. It's a or something like Question. that. It's not even good for it. Wait, wait, did you keep two on... I spread the bottom. Spread both yeah. of them? Okay. Yeah, exactly. And then a bunch of trash complete set cards. Oh, with death gear? Well, that's why I wasn't going to give them my four. Steven and John and David Sharpman. Somebody I don't care about. Fourteen? Get another temple. I'm going to put two ethereal armors on the dryad arbor, and then I will swing. Uh, okay. No responses? Yes. No responses, you said? I've got responses. You've got responses. Okay. So, I'll, I'll stop right here then. After you cast the first ethereal armor. Okay. Yeah, what you got? Um, Oh, okay. That's not what I was expecting. Um, I'm going to let the non-foil one <laughs> go to the graveyard. I have two in hand anyway, so... Okay. Ethereal armor? Sure. That way I keep the foil one out. Absolutely nothing but aesthetics. Should have thought of it before you cast. Ah, uh, okay, okay, we can do this. You're right, you're right. Um, swing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take seven. Okay. Uh, put you down to seven. Pass turn. Ah, it flips. Mm-hmm. But you got to be really good. I mean, the people that make all that money, like, film how many of the line poker, I mean, they're the best, you know, in the world. It's, it's, it's really, really, it's really like, oh. hands per hour, and yeah. just as long as you keep in a spreadsheet, you can only track a bunch of innings and stuff, which most players do. And it's, um, you got to have, like, a percentage of Look at target player's hand. It's okay, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Oh, my bad. Yeah. No, I, I forgot it too. Which, I'm too on Glistener Elf. I really ought to know that. That's all there's most sites to collect their percentage. So that's a non losing. <laughs> but you have to have one of the things. You got to be the Phil IV, uh, oh, Phil Hunter, you know, Doyle Brunson of you know, the generation. Because no one's going to sign up for even uh, shoot that. I forget the name. The Canadians is really good. Uh, uh, they call him the kid. Uh, but anyway, Daniel Negreanu. You can even be Daniel Negreanu. And even though he's one of the best players in the world, he's still not hot enough to have his own website. You know? Yeah. It's wild. And like the uh, leads that uh, Daniel Negreanu gets. But he's pretty awesome. He's very black. It's just ridiculous. But I mean, dude, he's, he's just like flat card after like, like six, six games. But all those players in the rest of the world, and there's a reason why he can talk and shoot away his hands and not even worry about it. Because that's how it's going to it's just, just playing soccer. He'll ask a lot of questions. He'll even give away and show hands at the time. But, I mean, it works for him. His style, dead on for him. Did you see that? the first few words in the Yes. That's good, though. It's $50 in the right now. Well, not anymore. As soon as the jack comes out, those cards get crushed in value. Which is fine because they don't have any cards, so I sort of need some. For me, it works out. At least this is finally going down. It is 40 bucks. That's what I'm saying. It takes too long to get out. Do it! Pay two for the tax intro. 
Alright. Check. I think I only this have time. one QR, so. Yes. Put you down to five. That's true. 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 <laughs> okay, that's three toughness. Yep. Alright. So it gets you down to one. Breeding pool comes in tap. And pass turn. That's a land. Okay, trigger. Okay. Let's try that again, shall we? <sighs> Game three. I'll keep. No layout. Island pass. Okay. show you that that's in there, but you already knew what that was. Say spider umbra. It's good. It's okay. Okay. Spirit Link? <laughs> it's like Life Link, except it's Armadillo Cloak. It's the Armadillo Cloak of Life Link. <laughs> Pop you down to. 19. Okay. Mana League, Remand. Something else. I'll find out. She like. Spell Stutter Sprite. Oh, it's this one again. All right. Gotcha then. Swing two. Okay. Pastor. And then, um, Helion, uh, basically tries to take the, uh, Scalding Turn. Mm -hmm. 
14. But more. Oh wait, there's more. Empire, Empire Mats. Hey, you know, right. Swing three? Swing three. Yeah, you got it. Pain two? Boggle time. Faster. <laughs> yes. So the battle as gets the You're gonna be really explosive right about now. Blood Moon. Blood Moon. <laughs> I know you, that seems like the kind of thing if you're getting basics like that. You'd be after. That's a good idea. I don't really think about Blood Moon against your deck though, but is it actually pretty good? Because it's Bant instead of the Slesnia one, I'm yeah, running so. far fewer basics, yeah. And plus, uh, to the extent that it kind of feels like a storm deck where you just pop your whole hand down on one creature. Yeah, if you only have one colored source, that's right. It's one from Mike Python, like the Black Knight, and It is a little slow. Uh, Yes. Trigger. Oh, I got you. I got tigers. They feel like tigers. Really? To me, anyway. That's interesting. Make you do it. Make me do this. Yes. And the worst part is that I had another land I could have played. Swing three. Just that awkward moment when. That awkward moment, yep. Um, block. Okay. Pass turn, yeah. Oh, Jay, oh, Jay. Hold me? Okay. Nine. <sighs> One. If I lose because of that. Um, I'll swing with one. You come back. So two damage. Um, I Seven. Okay. No, no effects. Uh, 
Um, Pastor. Uh, Curiosity. Well, match isn't over yet. I think I have lethal though. Yeah, you do. You have lethal on board. Yeah. Just for the lulls, I'm gonna fetch a dried arbor to block another of these, but it all ends up being the same. Really? Well, let's see. Blade cover blocks here. Slippery. Pyro. I'm at three. Three swing through. Did you have another counter spell in hand? Yeah. At the time, you did? Okay, so my not playing the land and you being able to spell pierce me did not really Wait, make a difference? let me use the spell pierce? Yeah. Oh, by the way, you, and you win. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying you win. You can see it? Yeah, you, well, I mean, one block's here, boggle block's here, dryad arbor block's here, three swing through, and I'm at three. So, three minus three, that's game. Oh, yeah, because you fetch. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have to, but it ended up being the same anyway. That was just style points, yeah. I guess. Oh. Armor. All right. But you did have something else you could have played at the moment? I had moment. Spell Snare. Ah, and that'll do it. I was saving it specifically for the Cornet, but, you know, if I can use Spell Pierce, then... Sure, sure. Between the Spirit Dancer and the Cornet, two of my most powerful cards, yeah. It this usually is, is too, like... Mm -hmm. It's like that. That's for the the Tarmogoyf, for the Young Pyromancer, or the you know, right. Spirit Dancer. Because if you're gonna play something that costs two, it's gonna be damn good. Mm -hmm. This is a two-drop format. Lots of good ones. Hmm. I really want. I, I had a choice between Lightning Bolt and Electricity Trickery. Cause I was just I just wanted to play Electricity. To like kill your the guy who wasn't enchanted, but I gotcha. Probably not really the point to that. The lulls. Yeah. Yeah. That's For the, the justification of my sideboarding. <laughs> really. Where are you? Um, there you are. Last week, Spirit Link was sideboard, and four unstable rotations in the main. This week, it's three and one. Uh, just to have a little more life, life link in there. I side this in against Aggro decks where I really need the beats. I feel like you don't really want Leyline of Sanctity against me. I figured you have enough targets I can blank, even though you're a pretty redundant deck and you can kill without burn. Um, but yeah, you're right. I didn't even think about the attack scene probe when I was making that decision. I gotta be honest. Okay. Alright. Good game, man. Good games. Whew. Take it down in the finals, bro. That's right. Actually, uh, when I was on the play, I had Spell Sky in too, just in case. Drawing your bolts and other bolts. Yeah, that's sort of thing. Man, that Arbor, oh, that, um, what is it called? Dryad Arbor play. Yeah. Like, that's pretty sick. Okay, that's true. I boarded out most of it. I just kept in the bolts. <laughs> and, I, you know, I had Vapor Snags. I boarded those out. Mm -hmm. It got there. It did something. 